हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स अ प्लेजर टू मीट यू अगेन आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड इंजॉइंग माई सेशंस डू यू नो स्टूडेंट्स वाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज आवर प्रीवियस टॉपिक माई होम स्टूडेंट्स डू यू रिमेंबर we have learned in the previous sessions we have learned about house that in a house all the family members love and care for each other they help each other in doing their works students we have also learned about the rooms in a house can you tell me students which rooms we have in our house ma'am dining room bedroom kitchen bathroom dressing room and living room very good students students we have also learned that dining room is that room where the whole family take food together student bedroom is the room in which there is a bed where we sleep bathroom is a room where we take bath here students you see bucket shower soap mug shampoo etc students kitchen is a room where food is prepared students dressing room is a room where we get dressed up and get ready for going outside now students you tell me that who lives in your house ma'am my family lives in my house students tell me who is in your family ma'am my mother father brother grandma grandpa very good now students i will show you some pictures and you will have to identify that which picture is this are you ready students yes, tell me ma'am tell me which picture is this Ma'am, this is the picture of a chair. Very good. Now tell me, students, which picture is this? Ma'am, this is the picture of a chimney. Very good. Now tell me, which picture is this? Ma'am, this is the picture of a blanket. Very good. Now tell me which picture is this ma'am this is the picture of a shower very good now students open your book phonic booklet page number 30 here you have to read the word and practice them students do you know when b and l both these alphabets are pronounced together we pronounce them as bl for example bl black b l a c k black bl blanket b l a n k e t blanket bl blink b l i n k blink bl block b l O C K block, blur bloom, B L double O M bloom, blur blow, B L O W blow, blur blood, B L double O D blood, blur blows blossom, B L O double S O M blossom, blur blue, B L U E blue. blur blush b l u s h s h blush now students open page number 
students do you know when c and h both these alphabets are pronounced together they are pronounced as ch and similarly s and h alphabet is pronounced as ch for example c at ch cheer c h a i r cheer ch chalk c h a l k chalk ch cheese c h double e s e cheese ch cherry c h e double r y cherry ch chicken c h i sorry ch chick c h i c k chick sh shark s h a r k shark sh ship s h double e p ship sh shell s h e double l shell sh ship s h i p ship sh shirt s h i r t shirt now students i will ask you some questions and you will answer them are you ready students yes ma'am okay students in which room do you sleep ma'am i sleep in my bedroom very good where do you take a bath ma'am i take bath in bathroom very good where your mom cooks food for us ma'am my mom cooks food in the kitchen very good where do you study ma'am i study in my study room very good where do you eat your food ma'am i take my food in dining room very good where do you sit with your family ma'am i sit in living room with my family very good now students recite the rhyme shans shopi after me shans shop is in the shed shans shop is in the shed its roof touches his head its roof touches his very head he sells shorts he sells shorts he sells shells he sells shells he sells everything very well he sells everything very well i hope you have enjoyed the rhyme students now students open book i can achieve us too page number 22 and 23 now students here you have to match the room with the correct activity students you can see the first picture is the picture of a boy bathing now you tell me students where we take bath ma'am we take bath in bathroom very good so students match the first picture with the picture of bathroom now students you can see in the second picture a girl is taking food now tell me students where we take food ma'am we take food in dining room so match the second picture with the picture of dining room students you can see the third picture a mother is cooking food now tell me students where we cook food ma'am we cook food in the kitchen very good so match the third picture with the picture of kitchen students you can see in the fourth picture a boy is sleeping on bed now tell me students where we sleep ma'am we sleep in bedroom very good 
सो मैच द फोर्थ पिक्चर विद द पिक्चर ऑफ बेडरूम नाउ स्टूडेंट्स रिसाइट द स्टोरी द थ्री लिटल पिग्स आफ्टर मी once upon a time there were three little pigs and the time came for them to leave home and seek their fortunes before they left their mother told them whatever you do do it the best that you can because that's the why to get along in the world the first little pig built his house out of straw because it was the easiest thing to do the second little pig built his house out of sticks because he did not want to work hard this was a little bit strong than a straw house the third little pig was hard working and he always wanted to do his best so he built his house out of bricks one night the big bad wolf came along and saw the first little pig in his house of straw he said let me in let me in little pig or i will huff and i will puff and i will blow away your house not by the hair of my chiny chin chin said the little pig but of course the wolf did blow away the house but the first little pig managed to escape and hide in the house of sticks with the second little pig the wolf then came to the house of sticks let me in let me in little pig or i will huff and i will puff and i will blow away your house not by the hair of my shiny chin chin said the little pig but the wolf blew away that house true and the second little pig along with the first little pig escaped and hide in the house of bricks with the third little pig the wolf then came to the house of bricks let me in let me in cried the wolf or i will huff and i will puff till i blow away your house not by the hair of my chinny chin chin said the pigs well the wolf huffed and puffed but he could not blow down that brick house so finally he gave up and went away the next day the little pigs invited their mothers she said you see it is just as i told you the way to get along in the world is to do things as well as you can from that day on the first and the second little pig learn a lesson they always work hard and did their best
Now students, do you know what moral you get from this story? Tell me that hard work is the key of success. I hope you have enjoyed the story students. Now students, open open page number 24 of your book. Here students, you will have to match the objects to make pairs. Like you can see students. Second picture is a picture of a skirt. Now tell me students, what we wear with skirt? Ma'am, top. Very good. So match the picture of skirt with the picture of top. Students, third picture is a picture of a computer. Now tell me students, what we use with computer? Ma'am, we use mouse with computer. Very good. So, match the picture of computer with the picture of mouse. Students, fourth picture is a picture of a bread. Now, tell me students, what we take with bread? Ma'am, we take butter with bread. Very good. So, match the picture of bread with the picture of butter. Students, fifth picture is a picture of a log. Now, tell me students, what we use to open a log? Ma'am, we use key to open a log. Very good. So, match the picture of log with the picture of key. Students, Sixth picture is a picture of a soap. Now, tell me students, what we use to wash soap? Ma'am, we use water. So, may ask the picture of soap with the picture of water. Now, students, recite the rhyme, Charles chops after me. Charles chops, Charles chops, on chips and chops, on chips and chops, and chew yellow cheese, and chew yellow cheese, and chocolate lemon drops, and chocolate lemon drops. I hope you have enjoyed the rhyme students. Now students, open page number 25 of your book. Here students, you will have to color the house with closed door. Now students, tell me the door of first house. Is open or closed? Ma'am, closed. So students, color the first picture. Now students, Tell me the door of second house is open or closed? Ma'am, open. Students, don't color the second house. Now students, tell me the door of third house is open or closed? Ma'am, open. So students, color the third house. Sorry, don't color the third house. Now students, tell me the door of fourth house is open or closed? Ma'am, closed. So students, color the fourth house. Now students, tell me the door of fifth house is open or closed? Ma'am, closed. Very good. So, students, color the fifth house. Now, students, sit in a circle with your family and discuss with them what you have done since morning. I will come 
up with many more new videos. Stay in touch, children. Do your work. Play indoor games for your safety. Happy learning, kids. Stay at home. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Thank you.